Entropy changes for various methods of adding heat. The specific heat of water is 4.18 joules per gram per degree. <coughs> One kilogram of water at zero degrees Celsius is brought into contact with a large heat reservoir at 100 degrees Celsius. So the reservoir temperature is fixed at 100. We have one kilogram of water at zero degrees Celsius. When the water has reached 100 degrees Celsius, what has been the change in the entropy of the water of the heat reservoir of the entire system consisting of both water and heat reservoir? So uh, the heat capacity of the water is the specific heat of water multiplied by its mass. So we have 1000 grams of water and 4.18 joules per gram uh, degree Celsius. So we have 4180 joules uh, per uh, degree Celsius or degree Kelvin, doesn't matter, uh, for uh, the heat capacity. So uh, as we heat up the water it's going to be absorbing a total he uh, heat its heat capacity multiplied by delta t so this will be 4180 multiplied by 100 minus 0 100 degrees celsius uh, temperature change so we will have a total change uh, of 418 kilo joules uh, so this, this much heat will be absorbed by water. Now, uh, the initial temperature is 0 degrees Celsius, which corresponds to 273 Kelvin on the Kelvin scale. And the final temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, which corresponds to 373 Kelvin. Now, uh, we can calculate the entropy change in water because ds is equal to d bar q over uh, t. The entropy change in water will be the integral uh, c dt over t from uh, initial temperature 273 to final temperature 373 Kelvin. So this will be uh, c natural logarithm 373 divided by 273 so the change in entropy of the water will be 4180 multiplied by natural logarithm final temperature divided by initial temperature which is uh, about 1304 joules per Kelvin. So this is the entropy change in water. What is the entropy change of the reservoir? The reservoir temperature, uh, temperature reservoir is fixed at 373 Kelvin and the heat that is absorbed by the reservoir is minus the heat absorbed by the water which is minus 418 kilojoules so the change in the entropy of the reservoir will be the heat absorbed by the reservoir divided by its constant temperature tr so it will be minus 418 uh, kilojoules divided by 373 Kelvin, so this is going to give us uh, minus 1120 joules per Kelvin as the entropy change of the reservoir. And what will be the entropy change of the entire system? Delta S will be equal to delta S reservoir plus delta S water, so we have 1304 minus 1120 so this will be equal to um, 184 
joules per Kelvin. This will be the uh, entropy change of the entire system. Now let's move on to part B. If the water had been heated from 0 degrees to 100 degrees C by first bringing it in contact with the reservoir at 50 C and then with one at 100 C, what would have been the change in the entropy of the entire system? So we're going to repeat this exercise for a different scenario where I have an immediate reservoir at 50 degrees Celsius uh, during the process. So the first heat absorbed by the uh, water will be uh, 4180 multiplied by 50 minus 0, 50 degrees Celsius. This is 2.09 times 10 to 5 joules. And the change in the entropy of the first reservoir, R1, will be equal to the heat absorbed by the reservoir. Uh, so let's call this QR1 divided by its temperature TR1. Heat absorbed by the reservoir is minus 2.09 10 to 5 joules divided by T reservoir 1 is 50 degrees Celsius, which is 323 Kelvin. So I divide this by 323. So I find that this is minus 647 joules per Kelvin. And uh, on the other hand, I have the entropy change of the uh, second reservoir will be QR2 divided by TR2. And here in the second step, I have heat absorbed by the water 4180 times 100 minus 50. So it's the same thing, 2.09 10 to 5 joules. So therefore, the heat absorbed by the reservoir is minus 2.09 10 to 5 joules at a constant temperature, 373 Kelvin. So this will give me minus 560 joules per Kelvin. So the entropy change of the water is calculated by this integral from 273 to 373 CDT over T. That doesn't change. So delta S... Uh, water is 1304 joules per Kelvin uh, doesn't change so I can calculate the total uh, entropy change uh, it's going to be Delta S reservoir 1 Delta S reservoir 2 Delta S water 1304 minus 647 minus 560 you will see that this is 97 joules per Kelvin. So we find that the entropy change of the full system has decreased. Show how the water might be heated from 0 degrees C to 100 degrees C with no change in the entropy of the entire system. So what I learned from this problem is that uh, as we, heat, as we add heat reservoirs with intermediate temperatures, delta S total decreases. Okay, so let's note that. So as we add heat reservoirs with intermediate temperatures, The total entire system entropy change decreases. Okay, so the remedy is as follows. Uh, so heat the water with infinite heat reservoirs, infinite number of heat reservoirs with progressively higher intermediate temperatures.
doing so will reduce the total entropy to uh, zero. Now uh, we can see this also mathematically. So in this case, for each reservoir, we have an entropy change, uh, delta S dS of uh, the ith reservoir will be equal to the heat absorbed by the ith reservoir divided by the temperature of the ith reservoir and the heat absorbed by the uh, ith reservoir because this is dS so it will be equal to uh, d bar Q and this will be uh, basically equal to uh, minus the heat absorbed by the water so it will be minus specific heat of uh, heat capacity of water uh, dt divided by the temperature of the immediate temperature uh, intermediate temperature of the reservoir tri so uh, the total uh, entropy change delta s uh, of the reservoirs R total will be equal to uh, the sum of all reservoirs uh, CW delta T uh, of the uh, ith reservoir divided by the temperature of the ith reservoir as I goes from uh, 1 to uh, infinity uh, the infinite number of reservoirs uh, but uh, at the final point I need to have uh, I goes from 1 to the final value let's say so uh, there has to be a final temperature okay so but uh, theoretically I need infinite number of reservoirs uh, until I reach the final temperature so this is becoming an integral uh, CW dt over t from initial to final but this is with a minus sign because I have the heat absorbed by the reservoir so since the heat uh, the entropy change in the water is from initial to final temperature C dt over T heat capacity of water dt over T the total entropy change then would approach the integral from initial to final uh, heat capacity of water dt over t entropy change of the water and then I have minus initial to final the uh, heat absorbed by each reservoir at uh, the intermediate temperatures dt over t so this is going to become zero so indeed uh, we find that when we have an infinite number of intermediate reservoirs with intermediate temperatures between initial and final temperatures the total entropy change would become zero so uh, we have proven that the uh, heating the experiment of heating the water 0 to 100 degrees Celsius with no change in the entropy of the entire system is possible if and only if we use uh, an infinite number of heat reservoirs with progressively higher temperatures in between 0 degrees C and 100 degrees C. So first we tried with a single reservoir at 100 degrees C. We obtain an entropy change of 184. With uh, two reservoirs, one at 50 C and one, one at 100 C, we obtain a total entropy change of 97. And finally, I have shown uh, for a uh, infinite number of reservoirs we can see that the total entropy change uh, will decrease to uh, zero as we can uh, see we can see the trend here going from one reservoir to two reservoirs uh, it decreased substantially and going to infinite number of reservoirs it actually decreases to zero